So what was it that you really were worried about? What was the sort of event that was going to create a crisis that you were worried about and have those events happened and, and tell us, carry this through over the years? Has GE addressed this issue adequately from your perspective? Okay, well, the event uh, that was uh, under consideration uh, would be a large loss of coolant accident. What that means is a break of one of the large pipes in the reactor primary system and the release, uh, subsequent release of uh, steam and uh, fission products and uh, into the containment structure itself. Uh, it was, uh, it had not been... Uh, considered that this event would cause dynamic loads, let's say heavy, vibra heavy vibrations in the reactor suppression pool that could uh, cause the containment system to fail. Okay, well, I'm going to no. keep bringing you back, though, to plain English. <laughs> what you're worried about is this thing was going to lose its coolant. It's kind of like if your car engine loses, loses its, its coolant, you know that engine block is just going to seize up and you're out of luck. So you're worried you that the, the, the reactors are just going to overheat, and when a nuclear reactor overhe overheats, bad, bad, bad things happen. It, it, am I getting this right? You, you're absolutely right. Now, it was perhaps even worse than that. The uh, steam that would be released from a large break was supposed to be uh, condensed in, uh, by the water in the suppression pool in the, uh, in the large torus structure. And uh, the concern was that if the structure failed as a result of these unconsidered uh, loads, you would lose containment, uh, which they may have done at uh, one of the Fukushima plants now, and you would also lose the source of cooling water for the reactor core. So the, the, the thing that was of potential trouble is you could have a core meltdown it, and uncontrolled release of radioactive material. I mean, it sounds to me kind of like what you're describing is what's happening there in terms of the loss of coolant and the overheating that results. Am, am I being oversimplistic or, or it was, is your fear kind of what's been happening here? Well, it's kind of what's been happening, but the the cause of the overheating uh, is different at Fukushima than the one that we were considering at GE. Uh, at Fukushima, the cause of the uh, accident that are fighting right now is uh, the combined earthquake and the tsunami, which wiped out all of the emerge uh, all of the backup power systems on site and so they have not been able to cool the reactor core the way the system was designed L let me ask uh, ask you one other question which which may, may be something or may not be something you looked at we're seeing this potential fire the fire which potentially is in the spent fuel rod pool which is in, in essentially a less protected part of the reactor why was it designed that, that you didn't give these spent fuel rods as much protection as the reactor and that they could sort of release stuff into the, into the atmosphere if something went wrong? That, that seems like an odd design uh, decision to me. Well, on all five of the Mark I plants at Fukushima, the spent fuel pool is in the same, uh, same place with respect to the reactor. It's up on the reactor refueling floor. It's there because it, it makes it very handy when they go into refueling. They don't have to move the fuel very far to get it out of the reactor or get it into the reactor. And, uh, of course, ultimately, it is, uh, after it cools off in that pool for a while, it is moved out of the reactor building and into a, another storage pool, which is uh, common to the five, uh, five or six units at the plant. Uh, it, uh, it, the, the spent fuel pool itself is actually in the reactor building, and uh, under normal circumstances, uh, they, it has cooling, and there should not be any problem with it. But of course, you know, dealing with contingencies, if you lose that cooling and you still have these spent rods that have a fair bit of radioactivity and heat with them, that's when you can get the sort of, uh, of reaction that you're worried about. So I, I guess I'm wondering, I'm, I'm, a, you know, I'm not an engineer, obviously, but why you wouldn't put some greater protection over that pool to protect it from the outside environment, or vice versa, protect the outside env environment from the, that, that pool. Well, uh, the structure is supposed to be designed to withstand the maximum credible earthquake. Uh, uh, the spent fuel is cooled by the water that's in this uh, large pool. It's like a big swimming pool. Uh, you would, uh, under, again, under normal circumstances, you would have a number of hours or days before you'd have to take any action. 
uh, it's not clear to me why this fire has occurred on unit number four. Uh, it, it should not have. Unit four wasn't even in operation when the uh, when the earthquake hit, but it was under maintenance uh, under a maintenance program, and so uh, it's my understanding that all of the fuel had been offloaded from the reactor into that spent fuel pool. So it's uh, basically holding pretty hot fuel that would not normally.